Hi all. Um, this is a demonstration of Amikit running on top of Amiga Forever for the Checkmate uh, a 1500 plus Kickstarter campaign. So it's not a full review of Amikit. Um, so this is aimed at people who are thinking of purchasing it. <clears throat> now I'm going to go over a little bit of history. So uh, here's a picture of my Amiga 1000 with Workbench 1.3. So if, if you remember these days of the Amiga, then things have changed a little bit um, over a number of years. So um, what I want to show you today is the latest incarnation of, of how a lot of people run the uh, Amiga operating system. Let me stop that. <clears throat> okay. So this is this is called Amikit. Now Amikit is a it's actually quite a lot. Um, it's as I said, it, it sits on top of Amiga Forever, which is a package that um, includes an Amiga emulator um, uh, and a number of Amiga environments and experiences, games, demos, etc. And they're all put together um, in a package that's easy to run. However, Amikit takes it a lot further. <clears throat> and basically upgrades the design and adds a whole load of new extra features and functionality and the first thing you notice is much cleaner nicer looking workbench much higher resolution so some of you may come in and actually seen the Amiga run in, in high resolution but some of you may not and what I'm going to show you today is now this is running on a PC one of the Checkmate 1500 PC boxes uh, which hopefully you if you're looking at the Kickstarter, you're having a look at this. So this is this runs and it boots from start. So the machine, it, if obviously, either if you follow our guidelines or if we build a machine for you, it will build boot into uh, Windows 10 or more hopefully um, uh, Linux. Unfortunately, this one is running Windows 10 because I want to run my Oculus Rift and my virtual reality on it. It's the only reason it's on there. Otherwise, it would be Linux. Um, but anyway, so what we get is this is sitting on top of it. So, but it's it's whilst it's sitting on top of Windows, it feels integrated, and this is what I'm going to try and show you. <clears throat> so, for those who remember, your Workbench it runs slightly differently to other operating systems. Um, after all, it did it did um, start the whole concept of multitasking on the desktop um, and color GUIs that kind of thing. So it's uh, it's a bit of a it was a bit of a lead room back in the day. Anyway, let's open up. So up here we have the drives, and each of these drives can open up <clears throat> a different a different area. So this is a games a games drive, and this is my Amikit system drive. Uh, we have a thing called RAM disk, which still computers aren't really catching up. It's a fantastic idea. It basically turns any free memory on the hard disk into uh, a temporary drive so you can use that for very very fast access <clears throat> uh, so there's the drives um, you can see we've got the a clock here and a global trash etc and at the bottom we have some more of these icons at the bottom so we have a, a start bar like you, you get on other operating systems um, and in here we've got uh, <clears throat> applications and these are just samples you can install your own obviously so for example some of you may remember directory opus it's one of my favorites um, and so for example here's that RAM disk again and over here if I click on and type into here OS <clears throat> now OS is the Windows drive so click on temp copy that across so I'm actually I've copied from the Windows or Windows or Linux drive across to the Amiga's RAM disk and if I double click on it I can see that picture. Now we're not saying it's going to replace your Windows experience. All we're saying is if you're an Amiga fan you may like the idea of having this emulated environment. It's nice, it's a great system to use and you may want it to cover up um, the Windows or Linux. <clears throat> anyway so a bit further on so of course we've got the old um, here we have our um, terminal we call it Amiga Shell. So let's have a look at info, info so we can see all the drives and disks that are, are assigned. <clears throat> a lovely little program. Um, and of course in the old days people used to do an awful lot of work in, in the command shell. Like you do on Linux, not so much on Windows. 
Um, there's a search func function here. And we have this uh, application here, which is called Morpheus. Now, Morpheus is a way of into uh, updating, changing the, the global settings for Amikit. But there's also in here, we have preferences. So as you can see here, we've got a whole lot of preferences. These are the Amiga preferences. In fact, I can also get to that to go in here. Preferences. Now we've got these lovely icons, which have been designed by Ken Lester. Um, and it does make a really nice nice environment um, RAM so I can click on that and I can instantly you can see I've got that image in there automatically been added <clears throat> again I can go to Amikit another way of doing it all my downloads uh, what's in my Dropbox if I want to use Dropbox Aminet's an online resource um, which hopefully you'll know about it's an online resource for the Amiga and so instant FTP access. Well, you can set up multiple FTP accounts, but this has gone straight into Aminet, where most Amigans will get their their Amiga application and graphics and music fix, etc. Now, rabbit hole. Um, I'm going to come back to that. I think shortly. What I want to do is I'll show you a few apps running. And as I said, this is not an in-depth review. It's just to give you a feeling for what it's like to run. Um, I've already run that, so let's go down to audio. So let's, for example, load up Eagle Player. That automatically loads up mods. Now this is a mod player. For those of you who don't know what a mod player is, it's uh, I think it kind of started out in the Amiga because it was one of the first audio uh, <clears throat> audio computers um, for the masses. I mean, there was the Fairlight, but this had Fairlight quality in 1985. Um, but for a lot less money and of course it was a general purpose computer as well so it was absolutely amazing so that there's um, mod now of course we, we've got sample players etc because the Amiga is very famous for music but it's also famous for um, graphics etc <clears throat> so let's have a look here we've got WikiChat which is um, uh, it's an online an online chat system before Skype those kind of things as Amy IRC etc and we've got our our browsers that we use um, there's a web netsurf and eyebrows now these a web and eyebrows are not um, styles c cannot cope with style sheets sadly um, but um, let me just bring that over here and if I again if I click on Aminet as you can see we go into Aminet so we've got browsers but we're not really going to recommend you use the Amiga browsers because they're a little bit behind the times um, and and the rabbit hole function is going to show you where where we can kind of make up for that uh, but let's show a couple more things uh, let, let's go into something uh, where's my video here, here we go so here's an example of a great Amiga paint program it's called uh, perfect paint if I run this <clears throat> this is a 24-bit paint program that's been used on the Amiga for a long time and I'm gonna go into let's go into the OS and I'm gonna load up an image that I've got in here so if I go into users now I'm now navigating through my my Windows system so let's go into here I'm having to remember where everything is at the moment so uh, yeah, Kickstarter, images, uh, let's have a look in here, what we got in here. Oh, yeah, let's, yeah, let's open up a, an image here. So there's, there's an image you can see here, this is something I'm working off of the Kickstarter, it's the drive, and I can work on these images here. But as I said, this is not a, a complete tutorial. There's obviously, you can run any Amiga software you've got, you can run in here, no problem at all. Um, for example, you might want to use the text editors, and of course, it can it can work with the Amiga text editors, or it can work with with um, any other kind of text editors. Let's close that. Now, that's something that people obviously remember. Obviously, games is something that uh, Amiga was great. Now, you've got things like yeah, Asteroids, which you can play on the desktop. Here we go. And everyone knows I'm rubbish at games, so you can play desktop games. There's also full screen games, so let's go on to, for example, Deluxe Pac-Man. <clears throat> and so we've got here Pac-Man. Let's jump into this, just a quick, because again, everyone knows I'm absolutely rubbish at games. But I'm going to get them this time. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, Amiga games. 
Let's get rid of that. Yep. Let's get rid of this. Here we go. Um, but there's also um, some fantastic demos. So if I go to demo uh, iGame, I mean, when I my my thing I've always loved are demos, and I always show this one because it was one of the first demos I absolutely fell in love with. So. Um, so if you like the demo scene, you can run all the old Amiga demos. Now obviously they're being emulated, it's not like it's running on real hardware, but because of that it can run them a lot faster. Um, and you get a, a, a great experience. Um, let me close that down, let's, well, let's just play this for a few seconds so it comes in with a demo. There we go. <laughs> I loved this when I first started Amiga. All right, let's get rid of that. Now, the one thing that's also really good is now there's obviously games on here as well. So if I click Pac Mania, oh, Pac Mania, I click on that, you can see we've got the the old Amiga games. So it will come with some games if you want to run those games. You can. Uh, why am I showing Pac Man clones all the time? <laughs> Maybe because I like Pac Man games. Um, yes, we'll have that one. Oh, there we go. Actually, I've got a funny thing. It's going to work because I've got a joystick plugged in. Yeah, that's going to be interesting, isn't it? I might edit this out. You never know. Come on. Yeah, because I haven't got a joystick plugged in. <laughs> right. So, anyway, you can play all your games. And there's loads of games. You can still get some of the old games if you know where to look. Um, there's a load of games I said on Amiga Forever. <coughs> now, um... Let me show you, I think, something that's quite interesting. Now, obviously, you if, if you understand Amigas, you can run all your Amiga software, you can run all your demos, you can run your, uh, games, videos, animations, music, the lot. But also what you've got is this function here called Rabbit Hole. Now, in the rabbit, what the Rabbit Hole tries to do is it allows the Amiga emulator to talk through the uh, operating system. So you can see I've got some icons here, but I've also got them down here. And so, for example, the browser built into the Amiga is not particularly brilliant, but you can click on Chrome, <clears throat> and now it's now it's running as if it's you know it, it looks like it's running on the Amigas, but it's not. It's running on the Windows display. Okay, you can see is my my uh, well. Let's let's go to the uh, Checkmate 1500 page. Okay, so here's the Checkmate 1500 page, um, and we go to well, <laughs> it's a browser. <laughs> it's just a browser um, and if you want to go open up if you want to open up notepad double click on notepad etc now the other good thing is once you you know you've got this now you can notice every now and then the taskbar I've got my taskbar set up so it disappears so it's hidden okay but then I I've obviously can go up to here and I can I, I've still got access to my Windows machine so it's still or it could be Linux so you've really got the best of both worlds. Now, on this machine, I do development, etc. On, my, on a, another machine, I might not, and it's literally just Amiga and virtual reality. I think on another video, you saw me running with that. Um, but of course, <clears throat> in here, you can put your access to your applications that you want to run um, on, on the Windows side quite easily. Uh, and, it, and it just gives a nice experience. Anyway... So that's a, a brief look at uh, AmiKit. Um, now, if um, you purchase a complete system from us based on the 1500, if you purchase a complete system, we will be included Amiga Forever, like fully licensed Amiga Forever and fully licensed AmiKit uh, because we want you to get out of the box a really great Amiga experience. Um, again, you don't have to run it. We can set it up so it automatic boots into it, um, as a, but as I've shown, you still have the Windows, the Windows system in the back or Linux. And again, you know, I'm hoping a lot of people use Linux. As I, as I said, we're using Windows because um, I want to run my my virtual reality headset. Sadly, it's not on Linux as yet. But um, there you go. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that was of interest to you. Um, and you've got an awful lot more memory than we used to have in the old days. Um, but yeah, so it's it's based. It's also got um, for those that know Directory Opus uh, 5.8 that was um, uh, put onto the system. So that's absolutely fantastic. It's a really really good experience, 
and it, you know, give you the Amiga flavor, be able to use all your Amiga software, and still use Windows, obviously, or Linux again. Um, but I think that's uh, I think that's quite a nice uh, system. So anyway, it will be there. If you buy a complete system from us, you will get a copy of it installed. If you're building your own, we can point you to where to buy it. Um, so uh, altogether, it comes to the value of the um, the pack. It's about it's about seventy to eighty pound, depending on which software packages you get. But as I said, we're going to include that. Um, anyway, I hope that was of interest, um, and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much.